Thưa quý khán giả và các đồng chí, con người chính là giải pháp và đầu tư vào con người là con đường dẫn đến xã hội hòa bình, thịnh vượng và bền vững. Chúng tôi đã có cuộc trao đổi với bà Pauline Tamesis, phụ trách văn phòng Quỹ Dân số Liên Hợp Quốc tại Việt Nam, kiêm điều phối viên thường trú của Liên Hợp Quốc tại Việt Nam về những nỗ lực của Việt Nam trong công tác dân số, đẩy mạnh phát triển nguồn nhân lực, góp phần đảm bảo phát triển đất nước bền vững. First of all, thank you so much for granting an interview with QBVN Channel. And Vietnam is currently in the period when the working age population makes up a high proportion in the total population. Will you share us your views on Vietnam's effort in addressing the population matters? You are very correct. Uh, Vietnam is indeed in a period called a democratic window of opportunity. Since 2007, Vietnam has been in this window of opportunity uh, where the working age population is twice larger than the dependent age population, which is mostly composed of children and uh, old elderly people. It is projected that this demographic window of opportunity will end by 2039. Therefore, you have a unique opportunity from now until 2039 uh, to advance sustainable development and address uh, the remaining challenges. We are already seeing remarkable progress of Vietnam in achieving the SDGs. Uh, people live longer and healthier. Vietnamese people also have access to education, skills, and livelihoods. Overall, Vietnam's um, multidimensional poverty rate is down to 3.6% from 9% in 2016. In your opinion, what should Vietnam do to uh, maximize this opportunity to accelerate a rapid and sustainable development? Despite the remarkable progress, there are remaining challenges. Um, Vietnam is facing a rapidly aging population. In the 2019 Housing and Population Census report, it is seen that 12% um, um, of the population is above the age of 60. In 2050, it is expected to double. So what does this mean? To sustain development progress, we need to anticipate the needs of an aging population. Um, strengthening social protection systems is one of the solutions. So the United Nations, including UNFPA, believes that um, Vietnam's social protection system needs to address vulnerabilities of all population groups um, with an integrated, gender transformative, and a life cycle approach. I'll explain what the life cycle approach means. It means we need to invest in every stage of a person's life so that when they get older, they still have a healthy, happy, and prosperous life. This means older persons need to be covered by social protection so that they could participate in economic development. For younger people, they need to be aware of this aging population and the implications of it and prepare for it. So demographic window of opportunity in Vietnam is about investing in people. It's about investing in the human resource capabilities of uh, Vietnam. For UNFPA, we believe that the government has invested in human resources. And there are two areas of priority where we recommend further investments. One is education and skills training. This includes soft skills, leadership, communication, teamwork, and promoting the rights of women and youth. So what have been UNFPA supposed to Vietnam uh, in addressing the population matters to ensure leaving no one behind? As a United Nations agency specializing in sexual and reproductive health, UNFPA's mission is to deliver a world where every pregnancy is wanted, uh, where every childbirth is safe, and where every young person's potential is fulfilled. In UNFPA's 10th country program, uh, for example, we are focusing on ethnic minority communities where uh, maternal mortality is three to four times higher than national average. Also, as a guardian of the International Conference on Population and Development, ICPD, uh, which Vietnam has signed up to, uh, UNFPA recommends full alignment to the principles of the conference. Um, this includes relaxing the two-child policy. UNFPA supports the use of data in development strategies and policies and monitoring the SDGs. So to achieve the SDGs, 
UNFPA is committed to supporting the government of Vietnam to deal with emerging issues of sexual reproductive health, youth development, gender equality, population aging, and in general, population and development. Last but not least, what will be your message to Vietnam when the country is making every effort to create a stronger and more sustainable future? As we look to commemorating the 2023 World uh, Population Day on 11 July, we highlight the need to advance gender equality. This process starts by listening to the voices of women and girls and other marginalized uh, people and introducing laws and policies that enable them to exert their rights and make meaningful choices. Um, UNFPA recognizes the importance of respecting the rights and choices of each person to create opportunities for everyone, especially women and girls, to develop to their full potential. To create a society that works for everyone, a society that is more prosperous, peaceful, and sustainable. Thank you so much for your sharing.